Hey, welcome back to the Moose Shop. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out all these lights in the ceiling. Um, I have 10 lights up there and they're, they're different. They're, there's only maybe four of the same type. But uh, it's an inconsistent light. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it out with these American Green Light strips that I, uh, that I purchased. It's a, it's a retrofit kit which comes with the LED strip. And it comes with an LED driver. And what you're allowed to do is you're able to take the old fixtures, take out the bulbs, take out the baluster, rewire it, put these LED strips in there, and then use the same fixtures and shove them back up into the ceiling. So I'm excited about having all the same lighting throughout the shop. Uh, and, and it's supposedly a better lighting. And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll compare the lighting, we'll compare the coloring uh, before and after and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so I'm excited to see. Hopefully it works out really well, I hope. Um, so let's get busy. we got a lot of work to do. I'll take you through a few of them to show you how to do the wiring. And then after that, it's basically the same throughout. So let's do it. Let's get this thing lit up. Now that we finished a couple, let me walk you through one. So the first thing you do is obviously you take out the bulbs and you take off this cover which will expose all the wiring and, and the ballast. And you clip the wires that lead to these fluorescent bulb connector things that I don't know what they're called but because I'm no electrician so which proves that if I can do it you could do it. So remove those and clip the power leads to the white and the black and then you'll be able to remove the ballast. Then I put the uh, the LED driver in the same spot, and I actually used the same hole on one end. And on the other end, I made another hole just to make it a little more secure. And I put a screw in, in there. Uh, so what you need to do is you clean up your wires. And what I did was I used these butt connectors. I didn't use the wire nuts that were that, that were provided. I like these these butt connectors. I think that they hold better, and when you go to tuck everything in, they're they're neater. And for the ground wire, I use this ring connector and put it together with the existing ground wire. And then after that, I cleaned it up since it was down. And each of these LED strips have an adhesive backing, which you can just use that if you want to. 
or they also have these little holes that they have for screws at, at each end. And you can use that if you wanted to, but when I did it, I used both. And they come pre-wired, so all you need to do is hook it up to the LED driver in this little quick connect box and put the gray in the positive and the white in the negative. Then I got some zip ties and tidied everything up. Uh, tucked them all in and made sure that none of the wires were hanging out so when I put the cover on, they wouldn't be dangling all over the place. And Then you take the cover, put it back on, put your two screws in it, and hang it. All right, so we got them all done. Uh, I'm liking it. I like the, the light in here is a little bit better, and the color is is way more natural. Um, and I hope that you can see the difference. I'm going to put some clips at the end of the video, side by side, or before and after, and see if, uh, if the camera picks it up and see what you guys think. Comment below on what you think. Um, it was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Once you get one or two done, it's the same throughout. So... Good shop improvement. I think it was well worth the time and effort. Uh, so, I hope this was helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I will see you soon.